Okay, let's go ahead and create the additional pages, the last few pages you can see in my site root directory. I have my index.html, I have my about.html, and we just need to create the rest of the pages for our project here. So it looks like, let's turn off this color scheme. We have, whoops, we have difference, we have change, and we have clients. That's the names of uh, our navigation links here for our page. So now that I'm working with multiple files, this IDE that I'm working in this program called TextMate, it has this drawer option to where I can pull up all the files here in my project. I'm looking at my site root. And so I can easily create new ones just right over here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is duplicate this about page. So this about page over here is the one I wanna duplicate. This is essentially the same thing I did before where you copy all the code, create a new document and paste it all in. Just does it all in one step. And I'm gonna call this one, let's see, this one needs to be the difference page. So difference.html. And you need to make sure that this is this name is the exact same as this. It is case sensitive. So make sure that they're the exact same. So now I have my difference page. I'll click on my difference page to load it up. And I'll just change the title here, difference. And I'll delete this class of current off of the about page and I'll paste it onto the difference page. And this is obviously the difference page. And maybe I'll, I'm just gonna delete this. Maybe I'll do an unordered list just so all these pages are slightly different so we can visually see them item one let's close that list item and we'll uh, paste that in there a couple times so let's save that now let's test this page out in our web browser so if I come back to my browser here and refresh I have, I'm on my about if I click on difference it does take me to my difference page I can go back to about so that's working correctly and we notice one error here this tag is not quite um, separated all the all the way out and that's because the CSS if we jump to our CSS and we go look at that CSS rule where we did the header two tag which was right here it's the same issue we ran into in the sidebar to where this has a width so really what we could do is come back down to the same one where we fixed that issue in the sidebar which was it's this one right here call out header two and we can say uh, comma content header two, so that kind of displays the same way. Save and refresh, and and uh, that'll fix some of those issues. To add in here a width of one hundred percent to uh, override that, so that's looking good. And then let's uh, just add these other two pages in the same manner. So I'll come up here. I'm gonna right click difference and duplicate that one and looks like this next one needs to be change so we'll call this one change.html let's load up change and just change the title there to change and we'll cut out the class of current on that page and paste that one in on the change page so that fixes the the current state up there and uh, change this to change page maybe on this page and we'll do a table and we'll do a table row to review some of this code close that table row and inside of this row we'll do table heading tags and we'll copy and paste this whoops copy the wrong thing Copy that and paste that a couple times in there. Heading one, heading two, heading three. Copy this entire table row. Paste that in here maybe two times and change all these things to TDs. So we're just building a quick three by three table. We'll turn on borders. So we'll say border equals one on our table. Call this one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll save that. Come back here and refresh. So about works, difference works. Let's click on change. There's our change page. There's all of our headings and all of our little um, styles. 
our CSS reset is actually overriding the border here, but we could add some, this will be a good chance to show you how to do inline styles. So I can just say style equals border one pixel solid black. We can save and refresh and that adds a border around there. Um, I can say border dash collapse, collapse, and maybe we can add some padding. Oops, 10 pixels. So when you do inline styles, you simply just uh, add, it's just a bunch of declarations. So there's a declaration, there's a declaration, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, there's our table on our change page. And the last page we need to build is our clients. So I'll go duplicate the change page and we'll call this one clients.html and we'll change the title to clients. You do want to have unique titles for every single page that helps in your search engine rankings. And we'll cut out the class of current on that and paste it on this one. And we'll change this to clients. And instead of a table on this one, we'll go ahead and add a form element. So we'll say form action equals, and this won't be anything, we'll set method equal to post. And we'll open up a field set with a legend and say enter details. Close off the legend and we'll close off the field set. And we'll just add maybe two elements in here. We'll say input, whoops, let's actually add a label. Label four equals name. Um, we'll just say enter name, close the label. And we'll also add a input type. So input type equals name. And we'll say name equals name, ID equals name. And then we'll do a break tag. And then we'll copy all this code, paste it down here. And this one will be for maybe comments. And we'll change all these comments. And instead of an input field, this one's gonna be a text area. Text area name equals comments. And we'll close the text area. All right, that's quite a bit of code. That's uh, pretty good there. We'll do a break tag and we'll follow it off with an input type equals submit. Name equals submit. We'll save all that so we have our form we need to close the form tag down here we should have done that the first and let's save that come over here and refresh and let's see if our form is going to work so we have difference about difference change clients so that link right there you can see is broken and this is actually a good good example of an issue so you can come up here to the main nav and you can see that the clients link it should say clients.html. If I fix it here, I've only fixed it on the clients page. So if you duplicate an error five times, you need to come to every single one of these pages and change clients.html and save and find the other one about and change this one to .html and go to your index and change this one to .html. So the benefit of using Dreamweaver or another system like that that has templates is you can just change it in one spot and hit save and it'll automatically update all the other pages. Or if you use PHP, it's kind of the same thing. So it looks like I've just got to fix this one, the last one. You can also use a multi-file search and replace. I could have searched for this string and then replaced it in a whole bunch of files. A lot of programs support those. So now that's fixed, let's come over here and back up. Whoops, let's just open this one up. So about works, difference, change, and clients works and there's my little form where the user can fill out and hit submit. Of course, it's not gonna do anything. We have, haven't built in the PHP to handle the form submission data. Um, and just for illustration purposes on this clients page, let's go ahead and go into the sidebar. So our aside section, let's just delete everything. So maybe this aside section doesn't have any content in it at all. So it's just bare, whoops. So this is our client's page. So there's our working website. Um, the only 
link we're missing is I can't actually go home. I can't click back home. And a lot of sites, maybe it's kind of emerged as a standard, but they'll actually use the logo as the link that takes you home. And so we can go ahead and incorporate that as well, but I'll leave that for your own exercise. You can just add an, an anchor tag onto your logo and then change that on each one of the pages as well so that when you click this, it takes you home. So for right now, we can just simply type in index.html to go home and we have a completed site. So in the next video, we'll just talk about a few touch up things and we'll be done with this series.